What's up guys, the Rogue Vet back at you with another video today. So we're gonna be talking about the front grill installation. Now, this is one that I was initially, again, gonna be doing a how-to video on, but given the circumstances, I went ahead and did it and I didn't film, and I hate that I didn't, but there's many videos on YouTube explaining how to do a front grill install on your C7 Stingray that you can find. But I just kinda wanna show you my end result and just go over the thoughts and opinions on it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so pretty much what you're going to want to do here for this set here. Now, there is a couple of T30, I believe, um, torque bits here. There's one, two, uh, I think two there at least. And then use a pry tool for this little small clip right there. There's two of those. And then pop these sides off there to expose a couple other things. As you can see, there's the little clip one. All right, now the next step, go ahead and use uh, a T, I think it's 10, I think. Um, you can double check there. There's three of them here that'll need to come out. It's best if you turn the vehicle on and uh, turn the, the wheel to the side, that way you can access those. I've already done that, they're already out. So what you'll do is you'll pry this out a little bit, exposing the um, side marker light there. Go ahead and unplug it, do it for both sides, and then you're good for this part. All right, guys, now once the next step here is pretty much what you'll do if you have a pry tool, there's two clips, um, supposedly one right here on the side and then another one right here holding the front part of this bumper in. Try to like use a pry tool to kind of uh, go in between here and there. Be careful of the light. Um, you're, pretty much what I've seen is once that's kind of pried up right here, kind of pull up right here a little bit straight up and it should just pop out in place. Now, it won't fall off or anything, but uh, that's that's how that will be. All right, now with the grill here, um, go ahead. I, I guess what you can do is there is a couple little pieces here. They're labeled left and right on the back here. Um, pretty much what they're going to do is there's little slots that they're going to go in right here in this corner. That's where they're going to end up going. So you can probably just go ahead and bolt those up. All right, guys. And then the supplied kit comes with these little fasteners that go right into the new one. Just make sure they pop in all the way. Just like so. Oh. And then go ahead and finish up. Okay guys, so pretty much here's the end result. You just saw in the clip right before this that I, you know, I was taking apart the bolts and the screws and stuff to go ahead and get the front bumper off. Once those are done, you know, they just, the, the front bumper will pry off, given you've taken off all, you know, the, the lowering screws on the on the bottom of the car, and then the ones that were like all lined along here and, and holding the clips in right here. Bumper will come off, take it off, and pretty much what you'll do is there's clips holding in the stock grill to the front bumper, okay? They're real easy to take out. You just, you might need to help with holding the bumper straight, but, once you get that all set and done, it's a pretty straightforward process. Get the new one in there, reverse, and then everything is pretty much back in and you're all good to go. So overall, I think this came out pretty good. Now, it does come with these little uh, pieces right here. They just go screwed in like the factory would with a Z06 one. Same thing for this side here. They go screwed in right there. So that way it looks factory as the Z06s would. 
everything is pretty much good once this is you know screwed in and set then you just do everything in reverse you put the bumper back on and you put all of the remaining uh screws back in put everything back don't forget about you know your side marker lamps right here make sure to plug those back in get all these t bits taken care of make sure everything goes clamped in especially up here and don't forget all of your other ones and then that's pretty much it i mean you you got the you got the z06 grill in like i said i can't talk enough good things about it it does make the car look so much better in my opinion the stock stingray z, uh, base and z51 grill that has you know the it looks like it has braces on with that line right in the middle ugly from the factory i don't know why they came up with that in the first place but you know it's factory what are you gonna do so i mean best thing to do is just change it out for a z061 makes it look so much better better airflow everything the whole nine yards so i think overall it looks great and i will put a link in the description where i got mine from but hopefully y'all enjoy the video i uh, will be coming out with the other uh, talks about the other videos here uh, shortly so be sure to watch those help out the channel and support um, but until the next one guys i hope you all have a good one peace <music>